Alright guys, um, today I'm going to show you how to correctly open up your gearbox. Um, I see a lot of people that make videos on how to do it or complain on forums about how they open it up and everything goes flying everywhere. Um, and it's messed up basically. That's not how you're supposed to open your gearbox. So this is hopefully going to help you out and avoid um, having a spring guide punch a hole in your wall or losing your entire Versa latch, etc, etc. So what you want to do first is you're going to unscrew all the screws. And actually, you know, though, before that, you want to, if your spring is compressed at all with your piston, you're going to want to look at your anti reversal latch, get a paper clip and a little hook, and keep undoing it. You're going to wrap it around and pull it back. This anti reversal latch right here will be pulled back, and your gears will spin backwards, and it will allow your, I said backwards, I meant backwards this way, it will allow your piston to move back forward and basically go back to um, starting position so the spring is as, as decompressed as it can be after that so your gearbox is set like this then you're gonna go ahead and unscrew all your little screws from the outside you're going to take either a thin long screwdriver or a set of need needle nose pliers put them together if it's a version 2 gearbox this is how you want to do it you put them in the back hole for your spring guide you can see a little separation because all my screws are undone already. Um, you're going to put it in the hole. And then you're going to take your finger on top and pressure that down. So as you can see right here, how my spring guide actually goes down when I move it. You want that to be down so you're pressuring that. You're holding that down when you pop this open. You're going to take a flathead screwdriver. As You're going to just pop, pop up one. Pop up two and then lift off your shell. That's as easy as it is, guys. My anti reversal latch popped up, but that's it. Now I'm going to put my hand over my cylinder and my gears to hold them in place, slowly lift up my spring, and undo it. And for those of you saying this does not work, that is an M190 spring. So that's how you correctly open your gearbox to avoid anything flying, your spring guide punching a hole in your wall or your gut. Your anniversal latch doesn't go flying, your bevel doesn't fall out, your trigger doesn't fall out, etc. Um, hope this helps you guys, and I'll see you next time.